Today, I will be showing you how to form the rarest and most likely weirdest kingdom in all of Crusader Kings 3. The combination of Latkes and Kuril, the chosen Punjabi people, the ultimate Shutzpa Chakra Masters. My name is Koifish, and today we are gonna form the nation of Bene Israel also known as the Jews of India. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell? So let me explain to you what exactly we're doing. Starting off, I have no idea, but apparently there is a religion, a Jewish religion called Malabarism. Now, what is Malabarism? Well, as the descendants of the tribes of Israel spread across the world, they built smaller communities from west to east, and I guess one of them ended up here. The Koshin youths made their way over here in the Koshin kingdom of South India. They intermixed with the local people and exchanged cultures. That's why they have communal identity, halakha, and eastern syncretism. Basically, they're curry-flavored Jewish people. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. There is a decision you can take to form the kingdom of Bene Israel. It's a cool old kingdom all over India here. So what better way to form this than to play as, that's right, Raja Kuri of the Shera Rosh. This man has absolutely no credentials that make him good at this challenge. But I felt it would be cheating. It would be cheating if I played as Maharaja Amughavarsha of the Rashtrakuta kingdom. If you didn't know, I am perfectly fluent in every language of the Indian subcontinent. Try me. Oh, that's right. You can't ask me something only in the comments. And I will just use Google Translate to answer. You can try me right now, huh? Comment anything down below that you want me to translate to any of the Indian languages. And I will... <laughs> I will respond because I because I speak every language. Now the first step to becoming the new ruler of Ben Israel. It's a bit complicated. We need to play as a character that not only has the religion Malabarism, but also is of the culture of Koshinim. That's right everyone, this culture was formed from the Tamil culture and an unknown culture of Israelite heritage in the year 52. That was like 800 years ago. Very, very cool. Now, there are many ways to do this, but the best way is probably to just marry one of these lovely Koshinim Malabarism woman and then have a kid with her. So let's marry this one. Now what's so wonderfully based about this character is that he is a Shavite. Polygamy shmoligamy. I have one wife and that's annoying enough. <laughs> Boomer joke, am I right? Secondary spouses. Tell you what, this woman is possessed. Possessed, uh, madly in love. Perfect. Let's pick our lifestyle focus. Now the current one we have is seducer. Because look at this guy, huh? I'm gonna reset the perks. And I'm gonna pick the scholarship focus. Because I need to get to apostate. But that won't stop us from being very good at the skaldaggery. Weeds in a garden will give us more fertility. Fertility is good because we need more kids. But I do want these as well. So we're gonna start by going all in on the schemer tree. Twice schemed lets us protect our land with a cloak and dagger. We'll also have our wife teach us in patronage. And have our son become the Puruhit. That's some beautiful titles you have right there. There we go. That's better. Now our heir isn't married to anyone. Tell you what. Why don't you marry Hagar? Oh yeah. Good luck and try to make children. Oh my lord. I only started the game and I'm already smoking the he sha <laughs> No, I'll just take the stress. Now we could click adopt faith right away. But it's gonna cost us a lot. And I mean a lot of piety to do so. Now there happens to be a perk that can reduce this cost. Apostate. Faith conversion cost reduced by 75%. We're gonna need that. That's gonna be really beneficial. But right now, have a few kids and make them a very funny faith. Oh my gosh, I'm sick and dying. That's a problem. Ayodhya! I've walked the holy path. Wow, I'm like the best Hindu person ever. We can also get war elephant. This is a big dream of mine. I love elephant. Wife pregnant, let's go. And it's the Jewish one. Very nice. A humble, sadistic, and wrathful wife. Wow, you know when they say happy wife, happy life? I think that woman, if she isn't happy, she's gonna take your life. Talking about being happy, I'm gonna conquer the Maldives. Oh yeah, we have a son. And his name is... <laughs> Ramakuta Shira. That is my heir now. Very, very good. Now our wife should educate this child, convert his culture, and convert his faith. Just like that, we are ready to rock and roll. Wife absolutely satisfied. Now we need to conquer the lands right away. So let's start by having our son, which I disinherited by making a monk, fabricate a claim on the Duchy of the Maldives. I think the lands we need to take is all of the coastline, one long boy, and a daughter, Gamakamba. Convert all of my kids to the proper religion. Talking about proper religion, these are the holy sites that we need to take. Kerala, Manipur, all the way over here, and Kochi, as well as if you want to be really spicy, Sinai and Jerusalem. Of course, the holy land. What 
What kind of goofy faith do you have, huh? Said this, um, a form of the Tani Luba religion that worshipped the creator said as a supreme, su supreme being. Well, we're gonna have to conquer all the way up there. That's gonna be interesting. Because did I forget to mention that we also need to reform the religion so that it has a head of faith? Preferably me. Oh my gosh. That's so, that's so tricky. Why don't we start by weakening my dear friend and favorite Maharaja Amoghavarsha of the Rashtakuta kingdom. Just rolls off the tongue like a curry meatball. And since we have twice skin, we could weaken some other people as well. Like this guy of the Lambakana kingdom. Or perhaps our neighbor, Raja Varakuna Varman of the Pandaya Rosh. Off you go, sir. Your head will roll. Oh no, he discovered my plot. That's a real problem. Let's actually stop that because we don't need to kill him. I just wanted to do it for goofs and gaffs. But we can kill this man. The more powerful you are, the harder you fall. But it would be good to have him as a neighbor. Who is this true. guy, huh? My, my chancellor? But well, I'm gonna kill him too. Kill him? Oh yeah, he's gone. But I'm also a murderer. Oopsie daisy, these things happen. I didn't mean for it to happen. Just kidding! <laughs> It was all a plan. Keep killing them. Very nice. A claim on the Maldives. It is time for us to go on a lovely vacation. Raise the armies. Led by none other than my marshal. Dampati Ranamarda. Well, this is certainly gonna be interesting. The Battle of Mahal. Come on. We can do this. Oh, it's tense. But they're winning with so few men. Ah, we lost. No. And, and my guy gets captured. But my whole court gets captured. No, that's like a actual huge problem. Tell you what though, that looks good. If they leave the island, we can just conquer it. Come on, we can crush them on their island. What? Do you not have a shirt, sir? Put on a shirt if I'm gonna fight you. Oh, sorry. Ah, the kingdom just keeps getting split. Now it's ruled by a woman. Aww. What if we kill this guy, huh? <laughs> I bring stability to the realm. Oh yeah, we're kicking their bottoms. Keep holding here. Yeah, he's not even wearing a shirt. Get out of here. Boom, the Maldives are ours. Oh yeah, it's vacation time. Let's give it to this guy. Best of luck, sir. Best of luck. <clears throat> Gosh darn it. I'm dying. That's not good at all. I'll take the stress and I'll just tank it. Well, it was bound to happen. But at least I'm playing as Raja Ramkuta. Ah. Malabari Tamil ruler. And my ruler is still trying to convert me to the proper culture. Interesting. I also hold most of my land, except a lot of it was given away to my brothers. We can easily demand conversion here, while they are young and impressionable. Oh yeah, two out of three. That's decent. That's better than nothing. I'm now playing as an eight-year-old kid. This is absolutely terrifying, but I will do my best. At least I'm the right religion. That makes me able to restore the Malabari high priesthood. I need three or more holy sites, and I need to be a devoted servant. Yeah, right. That's gonna be tricky. We now have the option to consolidate Bene Israel. But to do that, we need a few titles. And it would be better if we were Kushinim culture. So we need to control the areas of Silhara, the coastline. All right, so Silhara over here. Yeah, I can probably take that pretty easily. Oh yeah, I am the correct culture. Very good. There we have it. All the setup is complete. Let's get a better guardian. Someone that can teach us in the ways of learning. Like my champion over here. We can now start spreading the religion. But we'll have my champion and guardian be my core chaplain. We'll start with the capital. This is gonna take absolutely forever. <laughs> we can speed this up by promoting the culture in this area. If we have the same culture, well, we can spread the religion faster. I've also learned the Telugu language. Anytime it's available, we should really do the meet peers. This can give us some absolutely wonderful bonuses. It is time to hang out with fellow kids. My half sister Gamma Kamba and I are watching the champions train in the courtyard when my spy master, Varugis, approached her with a smile. What do you say, children? Think you can handle the basics? You don't sound Indian at all. What the hell? Who hired this actor? Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Let's go! The basics of fighting? I'm at the market? Oh, heck yes. I'm having an absolute great time playing market. This is a wonderful way to just get a bunch of cool perks. I thought my brother Count Matave Patan and the peasant girl were merely pretending to fight. But suddenly, there's blood on the dirt. You're being beaten by a woman? Terrible. I'm gonna save him. Best friends with my brother. Oh yeah, a bunch of thuggies. A bunch of Indian children beating on my brother that also happens to be Indian. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna stand for that. But I will invite some champions. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is the face of a man that's about to become very, very zealous. Ambitious, zealous, and then curious. It can turn into some really good traits. I now speak the Canada language. Sorry. <laughs> Poutine. <laughs> I need to learn one more language. But which one? I'm thinking we're gonna speak Arabic. That's a good language to speak. Salam alaikum. <clears throat> oh my lord. Girls are so fascinating. I have a crush on Eko Mantai. This uh, spineless villain of a woman. <laughs> Why am I so mean? She's a peasant leader as well? Holy moly, you're 11 but already leading armies? That's great! Memories of a father. Oh yeah, right, I'm dead. I mean, my dad is dead. 
I find my whole sister Gamba Kamba slumped in a faraway corner and she's gently weeping as she takes notes of my approach and tries to futurely make her eyes dry up. Oh brother, sorry, I should not be crying. After all, you have more reason to be her father than I do. What the heck are you on about? No, I'm not gonna bully my sister for crying. Stop, stop being sad, bro. Hey, sister, he was just, he, he, hey, he's dead. He died for us. Being a child in Crusader Kings is honestly such a joy. I mean, you don't have to focus on all of this, like, murdering and plotting. If you just keep yourself decently safe, then it's like playing The Sims. I absolutely adore this. <laughs> Dynasty Legacy. Let's go with Vibrant Court. It's very fitting, as we're doing a sort of semi-religious challenge. I'm meeting peers with a friend. Oh yeah, this is not even my event. I do the art of journaling. Oh, look at this, sir. Huh? I already have like 11 prowess. I'm gonna be a good fighter. My guardian is now giving me my last perk. Do I pick just or do I pick temperate? Just is a virtue. Let's go for it. A very virtuous man. Look at that posture, huh? This guy is an absolute chad. He knows every law there is. And he speaks Arabic. Time to go hang out with some cool kids. My sister is severely injured? Nah, she drowned! That's absolutely terrible. Why would you do that? And why am I wounded? I need an Indian doctor right away. I'll pay anything. Please, fix my wound. I know I'm like fit as a fiddle, but it's not very good to be sickly anyways. I know this is gonna cost me a lot of prestige, but like, this is my crush. It's too absolutely adorable. Not to do this. <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. I'm the Duke. I do whatever I want, huh? Who's my grandpa? Oh, I can't say that name. Oh, yeah. Best education. Boom. This character is absolutely goated with the sauce. And he is 100% ready to do whatever it takes to convert this area. Theology focus. Let's go. We're looking for Zenus Prostatizer. Convert faith in county progress speed plus 25 as well as a religious icon. The time it takes to convert county is no longer increased if the faith has higher fervor. Very, very strong. What? My half brother is... Oh, I see. He's a reincarnation. Of course. Yeah, no, that only makes sense. Very nice. I'm not a reincarnation of anyone because I'm Jewish. Oh my god, this is so cute. I married my crush. Video games used to appeal to the male fantasy. It's disgusting. The male fantasy be like... <laughs> <laughs> but why is he dressed in, in black clothes like that? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Wife pregnant. Let's go! And we have a claim of Tikana of Kanara. Oh, oh, oh. That's a lot of words. But I think this is one of our holy sites. Oh yeah, it totally is. These guys are really powerful. We have absolutely no chance if we're gonna beat them. We also completely lack alliances. So, we're gonna have to build up the country from ground up. We, we do have the ability to get elephants. And this happens to be jungle. So, uh, but we can also have pikes. Footmen that are the mainstay of the Indian army. Absolutely based in jungles. So let's do that. You might not be an elephant. But you're pretty cool anyways. Heck yes, my first son. But he's sickly? No! No! What in the name of Jewish Jesus is happening? Little child, you died? Why would you do this? It's so unfair. Life is terrible. Life has no meaning. You think we could take these people on? We're really badly outmatched. <sighs> If only they could have like a little civil war or something. Well, I'm gonna have a mystical communion. Hello, spirits. Are you there? <laughs> Can I have a talk to you about your ex car's extended warranty? Oh, yeah. I'm now romantically involved with my wife. Wonderful. I've romanced her. My soulmate, my wife, my former crush. This is truly peak male fantasy. Now, we have a little problem. You see, our holy site is tucked away here. That's ruled by these guys. They're really, really powerful. That's a problem. But to take another holy site would mean that we conquer here. That'd be even more problematic, as those are the gosh darn Egyptians. Oh my god, I don't know what happened, but I just clicked the create head of faith button, and it made me the head of faith? Huh? I didn't think it was gonna work. So I'm the head of faith of the of the faith? But I don't have the two holy sites. What? Hey! I have everything I need to grow to make Benny Israel! Ha! <laughs> Very good! Ah! You need to either have the holy sites or be a devoted servant. Hello, koi fish. It's a lot better when you read uh, as opposed to when you don't read. Now we have two options. Restore Israel. <laughs> Or Ben Israel. I'm gonna go for the Ben Israel. It's like Ben. It sounds Italian. I don't know. We need to take the area of Silhara. That's all of this. I have a claim on this area. But to take the entire duchy? I mean, that is what I want. But so far, they're too powerful. But I am the Ramakuta. Ramakuta has declared Nazi. I don't know what that means either. Thought the righteousness of our face was ne thought. Is that, uh, is that a typo? Stephen Paradox? Is that supposed to be though? Thought? The righteousness of our faith was never in doubt. The period of time we have been forced to endure without a spiritual leader has been trying. At long last, this ordeal is over, however, 
as I've finally convinced the rabbis to accept me as the one true Nazi. Please don't say that with a said. It's gonna sound so bad, especially since I'm Jewish. <laughs> with the faithful finally unified behind me, I will lead Malabarism into a new golden age. Hussar! We have a head of faith now, huh? That's gonna... We can make so much happen. And we have a son! Mana said, my son. I'm literally like the Pope of your religion. Have have a good time. Holy macaroni, I just clicked it. I didn't think he was gonna do anything. That, that's great. That's absolutely great. Now, we need to prepare, build up our gold reserves, and become more powerful. We should probably also make a holy order. But we need to be a kingdom. And to make Ben Israel, we cannot be a king. So, we have to take all of Silhara. More claims for the claim machine. Wife has finally fixed herself. I guess it's very kinky to become the actual Pope of the Jews. That's why my wife has popped out. Javdi, Javdi, my son, I'm your dad. And the Pope, you had a brother, but he died very early. Let's have another mystical communion. Uh-oh, I tried to match the ghost, but the spirit is too strong. I'm now ill. That's not good at all. That's really bad. Where the hoot is my doctor? Doctor, ask an Aussie Jew woman. Help. First of all, become the right religion. A and treat me, please. Thank you very much. Wow, wholesome, wholesome Jews sticking together. Who wouldn't want a Jewish doctor? My doctor is like, what? Swedish? Makes sense. Now I could swear field the under him. And through that, just sort of scrump under and take his land. But that's not what we're about. We're not sneaky people. I am now no longer ill. And I'm ready to kill. And a whole claim on Silhara. Isn't that exactly what we need? Oh yeah. Take it. Mega claim. Now the only problem is that he has a lot of troops. And a really, really strong alliance. We're gonna have to be smart about this. Can we get any alliances like this? Oh yeah. Eastern syncretism. Let's just... Marry into other Eastern religions like this. The Lambakana Kingdom would be a good start. And these guys, the... Ah, of course. Raya Vikramaditya of the Idatarai Rai Nadadukir. Oh my lord, that's too many letters. I thought the Polish video was hard to make. <laughs> Two really strong alliances. Yeah, we are sort of outnumbering them. <sighs> but I do have to be smart about this. Could we... Let's ensure that we have the absolute best champion. This guy's expensive, but perhaps not. Mercenaries? Maybe. But a holy order. That would be what we need. But once again, we need to be a kingdom or an empire. Uh-oh, that's a problem. I want to hire the rice grain band. So badly. Because, like, it's ruled by a man that... <laughs> Captain Mahinda of the Rice Grain Band. You play music or are you like just absolute chance? Tell you what, some small mercenaries wouldn't be that bad actually. Well, you know what they say. There's no better time than the present. It is time for us to take the land that we own. The land that we should have. The coast of India. Come here. I will need every ally to come in and help me. Like so bad. Raise all of my armies. With a bit of luck, we may win this. And by a bit, I mean like a boatload. Because like we're gonna need every bit of peace. Oh my lord, this is gonna be tricky. Stop him. How can you slap? How can you slap? Come here. Oh yeah. You guys are done for. Put on a shirt before next battle. Come here. Oh yeah. We've done it. 50% war score as we absolutely crumped their army. And we took the sun. Let's go. And I became best friends with who? My horse brother. Because I saved him as a child. Let's go. That's so wholesome. You want to become Jewish? You want to join the court? My best little brother, you're now a Jew. Congratulations. Shalom. Oh no. Strange noises in my bedroom. Birthday party. Let's go! It's my crush and my friend. Give me the biggest gift, huh? It's a battle axe! How fitting! I'm gonna kill people! Let's go! Mm, the war is going pretty good so far. Oh, and now it's going really well. We have taken the rush of Konkana. Let's go! We can form Bene Israel! But I happen to know a way that we, that we can become even more powerful. You see, I read the wiki. If the character holds Lata and Naskia, they will become the your parts of the kingdom as well. Well, that's one of the areas. But then again, do I really want to wait that long to form Bene Israel? When I could do it years now? <laughs> Our communities are far from the original tribes of Israel, and our chance of returning to the Holy Land are thin. We must forge a new home for the Jewish people here in the Khan. Oh yeah, we are the king of Bene Israel! Forced to live nomadic lives and living in small enclaves across the world, the Jewish people have lacked a home to call their own. The centuries of wandering, it seems, are at last at an end. Nazi Rabakuta of Shera has been crowned King of Ben Israel. Though unlikely, it seems the Jewish people have found their home along the west coast of India. West coast representing Hanukkah on fleek, with the Kohen Gadol restored, and the declaration of a new Israel, Nazi Rabakuta believes himself to be ushering in a new golden age of followers 
of Judaism the whole world over. Oh my lord, the Jews are back and they're vibing here in Shera, the kingdom of Ben the Israel. Right away the capital becomes the correct culture and the correct religion, letting us spread it a lot easier. Very, very wonderful. Now we need to do something. We need to consecrate our bloodline. And to do that, we must become a religious icon, which is the absolutely highest level of piety. Let's do it. Life has its ups and downs. My mother died, but I learned the Sinhalese language. Hey, you win some, you lose some. Let's learn the Bengali language. Magadi. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I have so many friends. And I have so many children. All of them are lovely. And we celebrate Hanukkah together. <laughs> We're also slowly converting the area. Truly, the most wholesome of Crusader Kings games I've ever played. Absolutely wholesome. And I'm now a theologian. Let's get yourself something cool in alchemy. Sure, I'll sponsor you. Breaking Bad India. Please make me live forever. That would be absolutely great, huh? The Immortal Indian. A request for more funds. Yeah, it's my immortality we're talking about. Is my nephew trying to make me immortal? Why is my nephew an alchemist? Full metal alchemist, that's what it is. And the cadastre is completed. All right, that's cool. Development increases by 35. Five? That's so much! What in the lord? What the hell? That is so much development. My capital bossing. Oh, what? My lord! My nephew, the Breaking Bad character, gestures me over to his cluttered desk with a huge grin on his face. Yeah, you can see it, all right. I know I said I could discover a way to prolong life indefinitely, but sadly, that was not meant to be. However, I did manage to produce an elixir which would return some of your lost vigor. Please, have a taste. Or at least inspect the fruit of my labor. An elegant flask that supposedly contains an elixir potent enough to restore lost youth. The glass is painted with a repeating image of symbols and phrases in dedication to the Lord. Mid Midova, I know you spent three hours making the repeating wolf image. It was like super cool. Do you want to try this as well? <laughs> An elixir of very fine craftsmanship. Gives me 15% fertility? Oh my lord, he made the Viagra. I'm sorry, queen. Oh, you're already pregnant. God damn, that worked fast. That's a good elixir, all right. Well, let's put it on the pedestal. Hey, no one sip my, uh, my boner pills. Oh my lord, this court is buzzing. Look at these people. Is that a, is that a giant? No, he's just a very tall Indian man. Who is this? Kanachi. Oh, you scaly Bengali. I guess a lot of Jews gather here now, considering we're sort of the Israel. <laughs> is there... I was about to ask, if this is the Indian Israel, is there an Indian Palestine? <laughs> Okay, Koifish, that's enough demonetization for you. <laughs> Who is this woman? And why is she telling me about the secrets of nature? You herbalist, novice hunter, novice physician, Amazonian, blind? Tell you what, I I'll become a herbalist. Sure, I'm a bit of everything. I'm a wise man and a I'm a herbalist. I dabble and dibble a bit everywhere, you know. I keep my hands in a lot of cookie jars. And I'm helping my allies. Who is this woman? A twin. You can become my executioner. I I'm gonna need one of those eventually. You know, just in case. I have a lot of siblings. Uh, I'm gonna invite all of those to my court. And hopefully, this will backfire massive. But I will have them be converted. If you're gonna stay here, you have to at least be Jewish. Oh, my travels through Asia Binder have left me with quite a taste for lamb, yogurt, and eggplant. Bro, who are you? My champion? I've been given a gold brooch adorned with a seahorse by one of my hosts. Uh, all right, I'll try it. What? Am I not paying this man to uh, find me something truly unique? And he's out here to treating it like a foodie trip? Huh? That's not what I pay you for. You're not a foodie. You're running like a food blog? Stop. The Tibetan language. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the Mongolian language. Maybe there's Tibetan throat singing as well. Apokrypa. That sounds like why I would name like a... World of Warcraft character? My unquenchable pursuit for knowledge has brought me to discover a strange old text. The volume, attributed to ancient theologian only rarely referenced in official sources, brings light to certain aspects of my faith that I have no idea belong with the face dogma. I can burn the text, I can study it in private, or I can revive it. Oh, unrestricted marriages? Uh-oh. Hey, let's give it a try. Yeah, uh, turns out you don't want to marry your sister. Hey, we're not that Crusader Kings players, all right? Let's go on a pilgrimage. What, what did I just find? I clicked it away. What was it? A letter from Muhammad. Who? Th that Muhammad? Hey, well, we'll put it up anyways. It's a letter from a guy. Is it the original Muhammad? The OG? If so, that's high. That's quite impressive. <clears throat> Pilgrimage time. We're gonna go all the way to Jerusalem. I'm just gonna go to the flex and say, Hey, I'm the actual Israel. You're whack. I am the greatest. We're almost a religious icon. And count... Oh my god, you, you have a cool name. I'm ruling with an iron fist. Except my fist is very soft. And I'm like patting people. And they love it. No! <laughs> no. 
My court physician! Alright, let's get a new doctor. Let's found a holy order. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. The holy order in Kunjakari. The Grandmaster Prince has found the Senates of Kunjakari. What kind of troops are you, huh? Elephants! Elephants! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's time to go to war. Our neighbor here. I think we have a claim on him. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, sir. Oh, goodbye. And now we can push on pretty heavy claims. This woman, my sister-in-law, would gain this ad. And she will become my vassal. The kingdom must spread. Come here, my allies. And come here. What? I'm at war with someone of hostile faith. What are you on about? This is not a Jewish person. Are you mad? Are you crazy? Ah, of course. The faith isn't hostile. Because we're sort of vibing with them. That's a problem, actually. Well, hopefully our allies can come in and clear up the mess. Because this isn't looking great. Leave the sieger there and we will move in and stop him. Come here. Me and my friends, my allies. The Battle of Calicut. Oh, and oh, my half brother wants to do the Breaking Bad episode again. Tell you what. Give me something that will make him live for longer. Huh? I want an elixir. Not just like a boner thing again. Like something that will actually make me feel a bit better. Not just my boner. Oh yeah, times are great. Wait, we're not even fighting for the war target. The war target is up here. <laughs> no! My son! No! No! Gosh darn it! He was just a little boy! How dare you? A fight! Ah, another boner thing. Come on! Is he telling me something? <laughs> oh well. Hey, my wife isn't complaining at least. That's good. Boom! 100% war score. The land is ours. The prosperous lands of Israel grows. Oh yeah! I have become a religious icon. And that means that I can consecrate my bloodline. Oh yeah! The savior of the Jews of India perform the final rites. He's a saint! Let's go! I hey, I'm 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 nothing special. I'm just a mortal guy. Hey, it's just me. Just kidding. I'm the savior of this world. Let's go! Nazi Ramakuta with the tress. Are you kidding me? Uh, that's what people remember me for. I'm a literal saint. You're whack. You completely whack. Oh my lord, that is so much piety. I can't, what, 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 what am I to spend that on? That's ridiculous. I'm earning so much. I am truly the, the most powerful man. Ah, many years have passed. The lands of Bene Israel are properly secured. And we are probably the most smart, pious, and healthy man on this side of the world. As I have completely maxed out the learning lifestyle. This is Nazi Ramakuta with the tress. A lock of hair from his beloved wife that he met when he was 10. Uh, she wasn't 59 at the time. She was also, like, I think she was like 9. Oh my god, that is so cute. Sticking together through uh, thick and thin. Talking about thick. The Malabarist high priesthood priest. The absolute ruler of the Jews in this very Israel kingdom is an absolute chonker. With whole body, healthy, herbalist and iron constitution. This man will not die. Having sired seven children and having taken his house to 52 living members. We are an absolute powerhouse of a character. 24 learning, 24 diplomacy, 14 martial, 13 stewardship, 12 intrigue and a whopping 55 learning. That is absolute insane. Giving us a surplus of almost 6,000 piety. That is absolutely bonkers. We are a wise man. A theologian, a herbalist, whole of body, an eager reveler, a scholar, a pilgrim, and a gosh darn saint. And now, there is only one thing left to do. It is time for me to show my true plan. You see, making the kingdom of Bene Israel is not enough. It is too pitiful, too small. We are the true Israelites. We are the Malabari. We will restore Israel. But how are we gonna do that? We're not a warring nation. We can't get claims on all the places. Well, that's where you're wrong. You see, I maxed out learning. And learning has a very, very broken perk. Sanctioned loopholes. Letting us buy claims for a very specific resource. That's right, everyone. Piety. I can not only claim Israel and Jerusalem. I can claim all of the Abbasid Empire. Oh yeah, baby. Let's get it started. I've waited for exactly the right moment when their army would be distracted by a war against the Byzantine Empire for stealing their holiest artifact. Now, with all the allies I've gathered, with the multitude of friends, with my son's wives, it is time to claim all of the Abbasid Empire. It's gonna be tricky, but we have to do this. Let's go. Every ally needs to be called in. It's gonna cost a 
lot of prestige, but hey, we have it. I was gonna say this is like an end of the life thing, but I don't think Nazira Makuta is gonna actually die. He's just gonna absorb into India himself and become the continent. We will raise the Holy Order and the War Elephant, as well as my own War Elephant. This is a massive force of more elephants than a gosh darn zoo, giving me a whopping army of 6,000 men. Some of those men actually having four legs and a trunk. That's right, uh, they're elephants. We are bleeding cash, so we need to move. We are claiming all of the Arabian Empire. Now, we will be coming from the bottom here. The most war score would probably come from taking these areas. Their army is probably somewhere here fighting the Byzantines. So, let's just get into the mess over here. This area has really, really good development. Letting us stand our armies there without having them take too much attrition. Now, here comes our allies. With a bit of luck, we can still win. Oh, and more people are fighting him. <gasps> Another holy war for Armenia! Who are you? And why am I obese? No! What are you blackmailing me for? Oh, yeah, I don't wanna have that be a stain on my reputation. I'm a saint after all. Now let's see here. If we take one area, that will give us a whopping 11 war score. And we're no longer obese. Interesting. Very interesting. We've gotten plenty of prisoners. These could be used to offset the cost. But I have to make sure that they're not attacking me. He is crumbling together. It's gonna be a nightmare controlling all of this. A hundred gold! <gasps> For him coming into my court? That well needed, well needed. Come on, keep conquering. Spread out. Carpet siege them. I have an idea. And it might just work. I have insanely high learning. Almost 60. This will make asking for conversions even easier. Hopefully, we can make it work. I shall lead the battle myself. Sitting upon my elephant. Let's fight. Come on. Crush them. Woo! For these dogs, get out of here, vile creatures. Let's get back some supply by splitting our forces. Oof, very good. I'm getting more and more stressed. That's bad. My health is poor now. I can't be leading. I need to have something fun, a feast. My health is good, but I can't afford getting stressed like that. Oh, we are quick with the siege. Look at this. We can ransom some people. That's good. That's gonna cover our costs for another month. These elephants, I tell you, they eat a lot. They take a lot of gold. Oh, he has an army, but we can stop him. Proper soldiers with good training. Oh, that's more areas taken. Don't abandon your sieges. Complete them. 81%. Almost there. Oh, we won't even have set foot in Israel. And we will have gotten the land. Are we sieging down Baghdad? <laughs> yeah. Why are we sieging Baghdad? Calm down. No, no, no. There's so much knowledge in there. Stop. Oh, I can't believe it. We have taken... <laughs> this is... This is insane, koi fish. Well, we've taken the Abbasid Empire. We are now a mighty emperor of the Shera. <laughs> the Shera. The Shera Empire. And that means that if we were to look at Restore Israel, we control it. And all we need is for Jerusalem, this county, to follow our religion. It's just very helpful that we have a court chaplain with 44 learning. This will go in absolutely no time at all. I don't know how we do it, but our people have insane learning. That is very good. Now, there's just one little problem. These guys are uh, not our religion. Let's see if we can fix that. Demand conversion. 33%. That is ridiculously high considering how much he dislikes me. So let's see if we can change our council a little bit. That seems reasonable. Now let's try it again. 83%. That is the beauty of being the absolute biggest Chad when it comes to piety. He says yes. Very good. We will be able to convert our vassals really, really quickly. 100%. If it's too low, try swaying them for a little bit. 100%. 100%. This is happening because we have insane learning skill. The difference between his and mine is absolutely wonderful. And the fact that I'm a savior gives it even more. This will make it so that the revolt we would usually have that would be absolutely ruining for us will now be way less dangerous. Factions rising up with the Islamic faith will be nullified as the leaders are now the proper Jewish faith. All the way from India, we have converted everyone. The opinion boost will be massive as I am not just the leader of the religion, but a savior. The patriarch Ramadan, bro, that's like a good celebration day. We also have this little war, a holy war against us. We can just do this, a nice little bit of white peace. Blessed be the Lord, everyone converts. There's so many people. <laughs> Please convert to the proper religion. As you can see now, our vassals absolutely love us. Because that's right, we have insane bonuses, like religious icon. We do have a dangerous faction that's gonna rise up, but its power is heavily reduced. Disband the troops. And just like that, we made one heck 
of a kingdom. The caliph is the only one that is not willing to give up his position, as the caliph is actually the head of the faith of his religion. Therefore, the only righteous thing to do is to kill him, or alternatively, we try to sway him. That's what we'll do. And just like that, my religion rules all of this area, and we control the holy site we need. Now, we just have to hold our thumbs and hope that we can survive for 11 months to convert Jerusalem. We also gained some cool artifacts, like... <laughs> A lot of cool artifacts. The Spear of the Prophet? Hmm, interesting. Or Nasiba's skull? The skull of a bandit lady? I'll take it. We also have the hair of Muhammad. Is this actually the hair of Muhammad? Interesting. Court looking very, very snazzy. Now, there's just one thing that I need more. Ransom all the prisoners. Best of luck, goodbye, have a good time. Oh no, I have the trait infirm. That's not good at all. I'm 69 years old. Nice. Boom! Jerusalem is of the proper faith. After 900 years, of exile from the holy lands of Jerusalem. We've been pushed back to India, reformed and conquered all the way back. And now we must restore the kingdom of Israel. The exodus is finally over. Avadagia, my dudes. Well, it was bound to happen. The woman I've been loving since I was 10 has finally died. Oh well, let's marry someone with even higher learning. Let's go. Learning skill increased. Wait, I'm a secondary spouse? Yo, new wife, used for the piety, demand conversion. Help me with patronage. Boom, 68. Oh, I'm so close to 69. We have to gain a learning point. Pilgrimage, I'm gonna die in a year. No, just one more piety and we would have had it. We were this close to greatness. One last mystical communion. 69. Nice! <laughs> and with that, my friends, I'm going to end this video right here. I have gone a long way from this little area all the way conquering, creating the kingdom of Ben Israel. Then, rising my power up to conquer back the Abbasid Empire as the Malabarist High Priesthood Man. If you like this, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I was like, I gotta start off the year with a really, really insane video. This is the first video I'm recording in 2023. And I'm really happy how I've been stepping up from small challenges to something absolutely insane like this. If you want to try this out yourself, you can easily follow the steps that I did. Hope you liked it. 